I was born in a small, defunct mill town. It was a textile mill. And on the streets, even though it was closed for years, there were little bits of lint, like all over the ground, that would blow off from the factory. It was a very poor town. There was a couple of gas stations, a post office, and one main road. I honestly believe that I was born as an addict. I come from a, a long line of addiction. My grandmother, her parents, my aunts, uncles. I, it was a direct hand down from my grandmother to my mom to me. My mom didn't have coping skills and ways of dealing with problems in life, so she turned to drugs. She would be passed out on the floor every morning when I woke up. And in turn, I was never taught coping mechanisms and ways to deal with life. And the only thing I'd ever seen people deal with problems is to turn to drugs, and that's what I did. I got high one night, and I felt like a million bucks. I just, I felt better than I ever had in my whole life. And I thought, this is what I'm gonna do. I was 20 years old when I found out I was pregnant with Adrian. It was two weeks before my 21st birthday. I was already in a party and lifestyle. And I remember my mom used when she was pregnant with me. There was no way that I was going to do that. And I didn't use the whole time I was pregnant with her. I nursed her for eight months. And then I had a series of injuries. I was prescribed pain pills. And after that, I didn't stop. One of the aha moments, it was Easter Sunday. And Adrian wanted to go to an Easter egg hunt. One of my friend's moms was doing it. There was a bunch of kids running around. And I went back in got high. I didn't sleep for the next two and a half days. And I just couldn't do it anymore. I could not put one more ounce of energy into the life I've been leading. And if I wasn't able to get help, and if there wasn't help available with groups like United Way and other volunteer organizations, Adrian wouldn't stand much of a chance of not falling into that cycle as well. My whole life I've had recurring dreams of waves. And when I was a little girl, up until the time I had Adrian, there would be these huge tidal waves looming. I mean, just blocking out the sun that was just absolutely overwhelming. And then once I had Adrian, I would dream the wall of water was coming at both of us, and it made it even worse. But now, the past couple months, when I have the dream, the water hits us, but we're in like a really tall hotel that's like surrounded by bedrock. And the wave hits us, but we're okay. Life isn't overwhelming anymore. I'm able to accept the responsibility. Because of going to Serenity Place and graduating, I am able to be back in school. My dream is to teach literature at the college level. I absolutely love discussing literature, of exchanging ideas back and forth. I am finishing out my associate's degree at Greenville Tech. This is actually my last semester there. It's an amazing honor and privilege to be alive, to be a part of that. And that's one of the biggest things that has come out of people like United Way that have given me this gift to notice how amazing life is and to be a part of it. Adrienne is seven years old. The sky's the limit for her now. She's beautiful, intelligent, personable, funny. She can go anywhere and do anything, and I'm going to be there to support her. Mom, I like being with you now because it's much calmer. You're just the best mom in the world. Well, you're the best daughter in the world. I was very proud.